of backlash and Barry Moore not blending very well. The Hollywood actress and TV host has decided to pause her show's return until after the writer's strike is over. Drew Barrymore came under fire last week after she announced she was resuming taping of her daytime talk show, sparking immediate backlash and protests outside of her New York studios. Yesterday, however, Barrymore had a change of heart, announced she's decided to pause the show's premiere until the strike is over, saying, quote, I have no words to express my deepest apologies to anyone I have hurt and, of course, to our incredible team who works on the show and has made it what it is today. You know we have to bring in News Nation senior story editor Paula Froelich to give us the scoop on this. All right, Paula, we were talking about this a little bit earlier in makeup. And, you know, first she was, now she wasn't. Mm -hmm. She had to know she was going to face backlash. So why is she now saying, you know what, I'm pausing this. We're not going to do it. I don't think she had any choice mm -hmm. because, you know, she was an actress first. Now she's this talk show host. It's great. I personally like it. Yay, Drew. Drew's News, Sunny Side yeah, Up. And a lot of people love the show. I want to However, say that, yes. she does have a lot of actor guests on. What people don't understand is that during the SAG after strike, not only are actors not allowed to work, they're not allowed to film, but they also can't promote things. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, her show's going to be gone, but also, they got long memories like an elephant. So back in 1980, during yes. the old SAG after strike back then, there was an actor called Powers Booth, mm -hmm. and he had won an Emmy for Jim Jones. Mm -hmm. No one was going to go because it was an actor strike, but Powers showed up. He's like, hey, I want my Emmy. And they called his name, and he marched right up, and everyone's jaw dropped, and he didn't work for like another six, seven years. Yeah, I can't say that I'm familiar with it. Oh, he was, on, just... he was on Deadwood and Nashville. Okay. All right, I got he look. eventually got his career back. All right. But, but they do not like it if you break those rules. All right, so Paula, something stood out to me uh, mm -hmm. as you were saying that, you know, that, that people can't come on to promote. Nope. Um, again, Drew, which you also mentioned, happens to be an actress. Yep. So these are all things that she was well aware of. So knowing all of this, why did she say she was going to resume taping? I, that's just the part I'm like, she, mm -hmm. none of this stuff is new. None of this stuff is just being revealed. So here's the deal, Nicole. Okay. I think she got some bad advice. Okay. I think the people at the network were like, Drew, it's fine. It's a talk show. You can do it. It's okay. Right. The view is doing right. it. Right, exactly. And Drew was like, okay, I can do it. I want people to get paid. Mm -hmm. I don't want any, you know, in New York, it is expensive. You miss one paycheck, there goes your rent. Like, it is gone. Mm -hmm. So she's like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help out. It's going to be fine. We're going to plow through. And then I think people pointed out the difference between her show and The View. Right. And The View is at ABC, and it falls under the news mm -hmm. umbrella. And they do talk a lot about politics and et cetera, et cetera. You know, so, listen, yeah. you could talk about anything you want. But if you're under the news yeah. umbrella, you don't have to abide by that. Exactly. And Drew was like, oh, I didn't know that. And you're like, e yeah, stop listening to That's the head of the, the studio, Lady that, Bird. Yeah, but I didn't know that. That. Do you think it had anything to do with the protesters that were outside of the studio? Oh, yeah. That's tough to see. Oh my so maybe... gosh, not only is it tough to see, but you know what else is tough? When your friends are calling you going, hey girl, don't do that. We're not going to be able to hang out anymore. All right. Do you think that this will be a permanent stain nope. on, no, you think so? I think it would have been a permanent stain had she already started taping and okay. airing new episodes. But right. because she did not and she pulled the plug, it's all going to be fine. All right. So you think we can chalk it up to be all right. We'll, we'll bring Girl. it back once the strike is final. Any idea when the strike is going to be over? Okay, so here's the problem with that strike. Yeah. All these guys, and they made billions. You've got, like, the head of Netflix. you got the head of Amazon. I mean, heck, Jeff Bezos has been on his yacht every day for, I don't know, six yeah, months. that guy. He, he yeah. makes a lot of money. I mean, he's out there in his Speedos, and he's like, what? I love it. Brr. And all these people are making ten grand. Yeah. And what they used to do, and this is what burns my bridges here, uh -oh. is that a friend of mine, he's on a whole season of HBO, right? Yeah. He got paid fifteen grand. That is it. And the for company, a whole season. For a whole season. And the company made millions right. off of him and his work, and they don't pay residuals anymore. <sighs> Nothing. So it's actually better to be a bartender than an actor yeah. these days. All right, we'll see when this all ends. Paul Froelich, always with all the information that we need. Every time. Thank you, Paula. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.